everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amber. This is Fabricating Fringe. Now I'm sure you guys are freaking out because of this very curly Sue wig. Um, you know, this isn't my first choice of style. <laughs> you guys probably know that. But this was a new style that launched a few months ago from um, John Renault. They had a, a launch of wigs and this was one of them. Um, this one right here is called Al Alana and um, the color is 24B22. So I'm gonna do my due diligence and show you this wig. Um, would you guys wear this wig? I did a really fun reel wearing um, kind of like a 1950s attire and some people were like, oh my gosh, it, it looks like Cruella de Vil or it looks like you know something that you'd see Marilyn Monroe wear <laughs> or whatever. But um, I think with the right color, the right person, this is perfect for them because there are people out there with this curly of hair. And, um, and so I think that it's great that they offer wigs of all different styles and colors and textures for those who need it. And so um, I'm going to do my best to share what I receive um, in the best way I know how so that you guys can see what's out there, what's available, whether it be something that I would wear on the daily or not. So anyway, I do like this color. Um, I've never tried it before, actually. It's 24B22, like I mentioned, and the color is called Creme Brulee. Uh, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Um, that is, let's see, 24B22 Creme Brulee, and it's Honey Blonde and Champagne Blonde Blended. So champagne blonde and honey blonde all blended together. Now it's so curly that I don't even know if you can see that blend, but it is a very, very pretty blonde. So this is John Renault's first style, first ever style with all over curls. I mean, all over curls. And this features a lace front and mono part. I mean, this definitely does make a statement. I, I, you can't deny it. This makes, this does make a statement. Uh, you can make them, you know, more soft and fluffy if you wanted to brush them out or make them, you know, keep them more defined like you see here. Um, this is synthetic fiber, so um, it will maintain these curls. And if you do brush it out, you could wash it and kind of wring your the ringlets around your finger and have it dry that way. So it will maintain these curls. They they could soften and loosen and relax over time, but um, they should you know maintain these curls because they've essentially been baked into the fiber. Now when I say brush through, I actually mean you know comb through with a wide tooth comb because you you'll want to use a wide tooth comb on these synthetic fibers because it is a lot uh, softer and um, delicate on these fibers so as to you know make them last and look better as long as possible this is part of john renault's smart lace collection let me do a full turnaround of this curly little beauty so you guys can see her from all angles so because you have that lace front you can pull it off and away from the face as you can see, here's that beautiful lace front. It's individually hand tied. It's meant to look like it's growing out of your scalp. So you can have fun with this. Twist it back, pull it back, clip it back. I actually think it looks a little bit better pulled back. I just feel like those curls are really bulky right up on my forehead. I don't really have a small clip handy. Uh, let's see if I can find. Here's a bobby pin. Oopsie. Yeah, I think that I think that looks cute, and it really does feature the beautiful lace front that it offers. Anyway, the total weight of this beautiful wig is 3.9 ounces. Now, because it's so sprung up, because of these these very tight springy curls. The length is shorter in the way that you view it than it is in the actual length. I mean, if you pull down that curl, you'll see that it's a lot longer than, than it seems. So speaking of lengths, the front is 8.5 inches. Your sides are 9.5 inches. 
Your crown is 10.5 inches and your nape is seven inches. Of course, the texture is wavy, curly. I wouldn't say wave, I would say very tight curls. <laughs> okay, let's take this off and show you guys the underside of the cap. Now you have that gorgeous lace front that transitions into that left mono part. And then you have some wefting right here to the side of that part. It looks like there's just a slight amount of permatease up in the, the very roots of those wefts. That's just gonna help camouflage the, the base construction, the wefts, and, um, and you give it a little bit of volume up there. And then you do have open wefting throughout the rest of this cap. You have your velvet line ear tabs, and your velvet nape with the adjusters at the nape. Here's a closer look of these gorgeous bouncy curls. Look at them in the back. They're so defined and cute. They've been a little bit combed out and played with up front, as you can see, and then they're more defined in the back. But look at the pretty color. It's very creamy looking to me with that honey and champagne mix. Really, really pretty. Would you wear this wig? I mean, it is definitely, you know, it would have to be for the right person, but I think it is cute. And um, I think it's great that John Renault is willing to create these, these various, very different styles to meet everybody and their, their various needs because, you know, um, there are people out there, like I said, with this, this type of curl pattern, and there's people out there that want these styles, that want something that's gonna mimic their hair. And so I think it's great that they have this available. Okay, let's put her back on. What do you guys think about Alana, Elena or Alana? I think it's Alana by John Renault. Um, in the color 24B22, creme, creme brulee, creme brulee. Makes me want to go have dessert. Um, let me know what you think about this Curly Sue wig. I, ha I just call anything that's extremely curly like this, Curly Sue. So this is a Curly Sue wig to me. Um, I think it's really cute. Um, I, I really do think it's cute. Is it something that I would gravitate to? Um, probably not. Um, I'd, it'd probably be something that I'd have to get used to just like a pixie cut. I'm not, you know, I'm not a pixie girl, even though I've been told by people, Hey, you got to wear those pixie cuts, but I think it's just something that you, you, you become accustomed to and comfortable with certain colors and styles. Um, I do change up the colors on myself more so than I do extreme styles. Um, so this is a little bit more extreme for me, but I do think it's cute. Let me know your thoughts. Be honest with me. You won't hurt my feelings. Um, I think they did a good job with creating this style. Uh, so let me know. Comment below. You can find this style and many other John Renault styles um, at various brick and mortar locations and online locations. I will have um, a store locator down below. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if this was helpful. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,